Ladies and gentlemen, quick segment, special segment, man. We got to tap in with the homie from the West Coast, the founder of the Lexit movement, Jesse Orgin. What's up, Jesse? What's up, my boy Chingo? It's a pleasure to be on the Red Coast Tamale, finally, brother. Yeah, good to Hope see you. Doing you. Good out in Texas. Good to see you. I like that shirt, too. It says, we don't have a gun problem. We have a God problem. Man, brother, that's the problem. You know what? All these Democrats, these leftists trying to take the guns right away. <laughs> yes, sir. So, man, lots going on as usual. Lots going on in the news. Um, of course, the red tsunami has begun. Uh, Myra Flores making history out here in uh, South Texas. Um, what, what's the what's the vibe like, man? Is the word getting out? Do you feel like people are? Uh, do you think the left is threatened? Yeah, they're threatened. That's why have you seen uh, George Soros already came out and he spent like sixty million on uh, he bought eighteen radio uh latino radio station because they're terrified even just yesterday uh aoc uh, i don't know if you've seen it we posted clowning but uh aoc came out with a video saying oh she's trying to speak spanish and then she's trying to say latinos that there's a lot of misinformation coming out uh in spanish so watch out for that wow 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 but i was like it was a joke we were all laughing we we're like no it's not disinformation it's real information you know what i mean and no matter what propaganda you guys throw at them it, the ones stock dealers and looking through their wallet once they go pumping gas prices they're, they're gonna see for themselves i mean you can't you cannot bamboozle them anymore and you know what's interesting man uh we always yeah. give latino hollywood a hard time because they all want to have their pom-poms out for uh the democratic party and uh eva longoria is one of the uh, investors and one of the people involved with the George Soros buying up uh, Latino media and radio, talk radio. Wow, well, see, that just goes to show you that stop paying attention to these leftist Hollywood uh, people because they're all, even everybody knows how Hollywood, I don't even got to go into all that. I, I say there are most of them are a lot of them are pedophiles, it's just all jacked up, but they don't have our values as. Latino people, so they they don't share our values. So instead of listening to what some Hollywood celebrity says, you should be listening to what your pastor, what your priest says, not these Hollywood leftists because they're just uh, Democrat puppets. Because that's ridiculous for her to do that. Even um, like I seen even stuff with what J Lo came out yesterday that uh, now her uh, her daughter is using like uh, they ain't pronouns. You know what I mean? So now. Oh, now it makes sense. So now I see why you've been pushing for the left for the last couple of years. Now it comes out. You know what I mean? Just, so, just stop paying attention to what, like I said, what these leftists are saying. Uh, pay more attention to what your priest and pastor says. Uh, speaking of J-Lo, uh, we, uh, my wife and I, we watched uh, her new documentary on Netflix. It's called Halftime. And we were, we thought we were just going to see like, a bunch of J-Lo rehearsals and stuff about like her career, getting ready for the Super Bowl halftime. But instead, they made it all about Trump. They made it about kids in cages. They made it about her wow. wanting to make a statement about like Latinos are being hated on. And uh, we have to sing, you know, born in the in the USA. And, and she had kids in cages as part of her um, her her set. And um, but I was just like, damn, J-Lo. And she's like, she's like, yeah. she's like, I've never been political, but now's the time because Latinos are getting hated on. And then it ends with her uh, performing for Sleepy at the uh, inauguration. Wow. Are you kidding me, bro? I haven't seen that. She's lucky. Now we're going to have to go looking. We're probably <laughs> going to make up something to blast them on that because that's totally ridiculous. And why are you even, Trump's not even in office. And really, you're still trying to go down. That uh, propaganda, you know, beating up a dead horse, that, cause that's what they use, see? That's all they got, bro. If the left can't talk about race, bro, they literally have nothing to talk about. And that's why they've been able to manipulate us, minorities and Latinos, for so very long, because they, like I always say, they use the race like a carrot. Like, look, look, mm -hmm. look, 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 race, race, everything racist, racist. Don't look at, we're trying to take away your guns. Don't mm -hmm. look at socialism we're pushing. Don't look at your gas prices inflation i mean don't look at all this look 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 races that's what they're they're trying to do so that's just another attempt from the left trying to, to use race to manipulate that's why i I looked at recently i looked at a couple of like leftist latino pages and i i couldn't believe it because i haven't seen it in a while but i seen that they're still trying to push like the race like all oh, the racism and this and that i was like what a total joke if 
Latinos have a lot of problems, you know what I mean? But that's not one of them to me. Eh? That like we have like the economy, gas, everything else. We have a whole slew of problems. Racism's not no problem like me. Like, you know me, Chico. Mm -hmm. I was shot and paralyzed by, by a fellow Latino. I'm saying like I had three cousins murdered by other Latinos. Even over here in Cali, if there is any racial problems it's usually between blacks and latinos you know what i'm saying so i don't know where they got never my problem had no problem with no white or white supremacists but like i said they just use that to manipulate latinos and my blacks for votes that's why the Lexit movement is so powerful because it kills that whole argument about like hey you're supposed to be a victim and you're supposed to be like um you know voting for us all the time and i think my wife mentioned it on on her podcast where she was basically saying like you know, our neighbors, a white dude, and either he takes out our trash or we take out his trash, like whoever gets to it first. And, um, and you know, the, you know, the left, the Democrats, the politicians, they don't want people to know what, what really is going on at the grassroots level in terms of like how Americans really do coexist. And, and it's really these race hustlers keeping the idea of racism alive and just like stabbing at the wound instead of always, instead of looking at it like, Look at how far we've come. Look at how we we ended slavery. Like we got rid of slavery here in America. Like it started, you know, in Africa. That's why it's so weird that, you know, with Juneteenth, they're trying, the corporations are trying to brand it with this pan-African flag, the green, black, uh, red, mm -hmm. instead of it's an American thing. You know, like as Texans, Rob, I'm, were you familiar with Juneteenth? Oh, uh, yeah, because it's a te it was originally a Texas. Yeah, it was, it was a Texas thing. You know, it, it goes back to Texas history. And um, so it, it should, it's an American holiday. And didn't Trump make it like a federal holiday? Am I, I, am I, mis am I, I don't know if Trump made it a federal he, holiday. Trump did something with it. Yeah. yeah, that's why he was trying to take. That's why Trump was like crunk. He was like saying like, no one knew about Juneteenth until yeah, I, I made right. it famous. Remember, right. he's like, right. he's like, no one knew. No one knew. Now you're all up on Juneteenth's nuts because <laughs> I brought it to the forefront. And um, it's crazy. Like you said, they're trying to use a different flag, though. We already have a flag that, that signifies freedom. Yeah, because they're trying to turn everything like that's why they they push the uh, the trans flag, the rainbow flag, like every flag except for the American flag because they're trying to you know uh, like like brainwash people into like no no no, no the one that's be not this one and the one behind Jesse uh, uh that that's not good. It's like no, this is the one. This is the shit. Like for example, like for example, gay conservatives, they're probably more uh, ample to be like um hey this is the flag all that other shit is secondary yeah. you know what i mean it's america first yeah, yeah, yeah. So, america so so how's everything going with the Lexit movement in cali and, and and all the members like what are y'all working on at the moment yeah we're we're building our chapters we're building armies foot uh foot feet on the ground i mean that's what we're mainly focused right now because i we already did like the social media our being, you know what I mean? I turned the in there with you, you know what I mean? I've been all over in the White House, I've been doing all that stuff, been on Fox, everything. Uh, but so right now, I'm trying to, we want to build like uh army, you know what I mean? Like the army of Latinos just rolling up deep. So we roll up deep, especially over here in California, where we do something, we roll a bunch of Latinos, all legs geared out. Uh, and then it's like, uh, everybody's like, dang, all eyes on us. When we roll up, you see a bunch of Latinos rolling deep, especially at conservative, uh, gatherings and an event it, it's a, a big uh, eye opener so that's what we're trying to right now Mo mainly focused on that but then we too we're trying to help candidates you know what i mean candidates that we think america first good candidates if we feel that uh we try to help them we try to uh back them do whatever we we can right now that's what we're doing that and then we're, we're fighting against like uh some evil propositions especially over here in uh california there's like a new one around it's ab2 eight six six or something like that but it's they're trying to say that uh kids they were trying to say it's up to 12 years old they could get the, the jack mm -hmm. jesse we lost your audio hello we're just there fighting against all the things like that you know hey so let me ask you this uh recently they recalled uh boudin or boudin the uh the da from san francisco and some people speculate that gascon might be next are people fed up with uh the da in the la area oh hell yeah they were yeah there was a big push all around this area for a recall uh re trying to recall him too but just in all ways everybody's just sick of all of this so it's just hard though because right here in la 
there's a lot of liberals, bro. Even right here where I live, not even there are like a lot of whites now. Like even in, in certain Latino before, like even where I live, I live like by a park area or whatever. It used to be all Latino, but now it's getting a lot of like uh liberals. White liberals are taking um over this uh area. So uh, it's it's rough, but yeah, like the regular everyday people, yeah, we're pissed off, but we're sick of it and then the crime over here horrendous and just like, always uh, did you hear about the case did you hear about the case of uh, speaking of Gascon of the lady in Venice Beach with the stroller and she had an 8 month old baby and the kid it was like a 16 year old 17 year old kid had stole a Prius and um, pretty much like ran into them and the uh, Gascon only gave him like 5 months in a, a juvie camp yeah wow nah I didn't hear about that but that's that's, that's how it always is there's endless cases of things like that where they're letting um, criminals out, Democrats. I don't know what what's their obsession with letting uh, criminals out, especially when they, they did wrong. Like, I don't know, they think it's something about racial injustice or whatever, but if they're righteous, bad, like, we'll call it, you'll call it. If there's, like, just like that shooter, there was just that that idiot shooter over there where just because he's a Latino or whatever, if he was alive, just throw the book at him. Give that dude the death penalty, you know what I'm saying? Like, they're doing wrong then uh, they should be doing the time or whatever. I don't know what's wrong with these uh, Democrats that are always trying to be uh, light on these prison uh, prison criminals, especially when they do crimes like that. Right? I guess it's a little caught with a 20 bag of weed or something. I can see if it's some little stuff like that. But if it's righteous crimes like that, there's no need to be uh, soft on them. Yeah, it's so weird to me how they, they go so woke and so Marxist and they try to use some weird data. Like Gascon, he's notorious of, of trying to be like, well, you know, the studies and the science and the data shows that, you know, some communities and races and da 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 and crime and the root causes. And it's like, bro, you common sense. Like, you, you want to talk about the fog of war? They're in the fog of woke in, in California, dude. Exactly. Especially in California, bro. California is like almost 50% Latinos. You know, there's so many blacks and Latinos. There is especially, I could see if you're like Mississippi or somewhere, even over there trying to talk about race. But to be over here in California, talk about race, that's a joke. Okay? Like I said, oh, more in California, the problems are between blacks and Latinos, if anything, if anything. You know what I'm saying? Because I never in my life had to worry about no ever bro even in prison you know, i never worried about no white supremacy or no racist or no nonsense like that especially now it's actually way less racist than it was back in the days and, and you mentioned mississippi i mean I, i've been there a few times I, I don't live there but i mean i'd argue that in the south it's i mean people get along you know i mean we uh we go to atlanta from time to time i guess florida's you know considered the south as well and some you know i guess you know some people argue like ah well it's its own thing that's yeah. north cuba <laughs> uh but but yeah like a lot of people think texas like oh oh my god texas that's what the cowboys are like oh my god y'all ride horses and the, the kkk and all this stuff and rob have you i mean have you seen anything Dude, that's like oh my god racist none not ever in my life and actually real quick story I had a, a friend's neighbor move in from new jersey who was in the military retired him and his wife both retired and they kept going through the same town i grew up in as when they were looking for where to move and what made them go there was that how nice everybody was and when they were looking at houses the neighbors invited them into their house to look at the development in the area Area. and they were like you're just gonna let some black straight it was in the height of the blm riots too mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and they were like this is what lets us know that america is not racist it, yeah it's it's media propaganda bro like i mean look um like yeah. where we record right here this is a historically black neighborhood yeah. you know we we lived here we just moved but like i mean it, you know, I, dude, you know how many George Floyd murals I see on the way? Just driving here? On the way to work. I see one. When I, that's how I was in Houston. I, I see that. Oh. Yeah, and George Floyd was from this neighborhood. Yeah. Um, so, you know, they got oh. all kind of Breonna Taylor murals everywhere. Of course, they, they found a way to, like, smush in Vanessa Guillen along with Breonna, along with George Floyd. And it's like... They they don't have nothing to do with each other. Yeah. Like, the, the circumstances of how they died have nothing to do with each other. <laughs> Yeah, but then you know what, bro? There's also, there's racists and all that, bro, in every race, bro. You know, you, everybody has a racist old Theo, you know what I mean? Or your grandpa. Tell me if your sister would have came home with a black or another race, your your grandpa wouldn't have had 
something. Say, you know me, Latinos, we, we have nicknames for every other race. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to go through them, but all, every Latino watching this knows that Latinos are even Latinos, but even Asians, if you don't think so, Asians are righteously racist too, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, every single race has a little bit of racism, but like I said, the left uses that to manipulate blacks and Latinos. That's why Latinos stop falling for that. Stop paying attention to race and all that. Pay attention to policies. You know what I mean? That's what you should be focused on. Pay attention to your, to even your wallet and all that. You know what I mean? Uh, what they're teaching your kids in schools, like so many things. You know, they're trying to take away your guns, like whatever. Like pay attention to all that. But like I said, the Latinos may have a lot of problems, but racism and all that, it ain't, it ain't one of That's like way, should yeah. be way on your list. But like I said, stop letting them use that like a yeah. carrot in front of you to manipulate you. They're playing using your emotion. They're using, cause we have a lot of pride in our heritage. Yeah, you know, and like, you know, you know what I mean? So they, yeah, so they use that to play us, to manipulate us. So stop, stop falling for that. Like I said, pay attention to policy, pay attention to the issues. Yeah. Because I, I'd argue that like, on a day to day, ninety nine point nine 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 percent of the time, Latinos aren't uh, um, experiencing. I know somebody listening right now is like, "Dude, you don't know what you're talking about." But it's like, yeah. it's like, bro, ain't nobody like. First of all, some Raza lives surrounded by nothing but Raza, and they don't even interact with other races, right? Yeah. That, that's, that's one. True. That's one. Where thing. I grew up in my hometown, La Puente, especially when I grew up, it was all Latinos, bro. I never until I went to prison, I went to jail, and all that. Is where I interacted with blacks, but until that part, I had never. I had only been around us. Awesome, you know? Yeah, so it's just really overblown, over out of proportion. What, Jesse, what keeps you in that area? If you don't mind me asking. Uh, just my family. Just you know I mean? That's yeah. why my mom, basically, my family, church, and things like that. He's like, this is home, motherfucker. What yeah. you mean? <laughs> yeah, I'm a Cali boy. I never. I, I yeah, I was here my whole life. Yeah. What's yeah. the oh, no no no? Family. Hey, question for me. Uh, what's the, the the goal? I guess for the next six months. Like we're already halfway through twenty twenty two. But what what do you and Legs at want to accomplish by the end of the year? Well, we're gonna try to get some good uh, candidates. Like even today, anybody out in Virginia, there's a good Latina running out there. Yelsey Vega trying to uh, help her uh, to win, but we're just gonna be trying to get it ready for November. You know what I mean? They're coming around, we need to take back the house. So we're gonna be trying to push. Of all the ones, all the good candidates that won their primaries. So we're going to try to help them push them through the line and get the, this house back, man, because these Democrats are tearing up everything, brother. You know, what I mean? over there sending millions and all of that to Ukraine when things are all going to muck over here. So, uh, that's mainly, like I said, we're going to be trying to just, uh, we're about to be out at the March, March for Life over here in California. Uh, I think it's tomorrow. There's a big, huge March for Life in California. So we got invited to be to that. So we're going to be over there. And uh, we're always doing something, bro. We're always doing something with events, going around, doing all things. But mainly, we're going to be focused on uh, November, bro. We got to we gotta get back to house. Absolutely, man. A, a lot is on the line. Uh, where can people get more info and, and join, sign up, and, and, uh, and let them know all the ways they can help? On Instagram, we're uh, Lexit Movement. Uh, and then on, uh, you can just go to our website, wearelexit.com. And then anybody, we have chapters all across the nation. So if you're interested uh, in being a conservative, because like I said, you know, you can think I say, I'm not a Republican or a Democrat. I'm a Biblican. I'm a conservative. So because we blast Republicans too if they do wrong. Yeah. We, that's what we do. We're equal opportunity blasters. <laughs> yeah. So, but if you are. If you're interested in joining a conservative, you're a conservative Latino, you want to help get in the fight with us, like I said, just go to wearelexit.com and then just click on join the fight. And then like, uh, we're on Twitter, uh, Facebook. On uh, Facebook, we're under Real Lexit. And then uh, YouTube. Barely, we don't have a big YouTube, but just look us up on uh, YouTube on Lex, at Lex. Uh, I'll be in your neck of the woods coming up, man. Uh, July 6th, yeah. if I'm not mistaken, Irvine, and then uh, July 7th in Ontario, California. I know you got a lot of Lexit Movement uh, yeah, members yeah. in the area, so let them know, man. I, I got them on the yeah, guest yeah. list. Yeah, yeah, we'll tell them. I already, I already was jamming them up. Carmen, Carmen, uh, shout out to you know Carmen from Lexit. Mm -hmm. She's a real big fan of yours, too. Awesome. So. I know for sure she's excited about that too. Awesome. Yeah, man. I'm looking forward to being out there in the West Coast. And uh everybody listening, people, um, if you haven't really been to Cali, grassroots and like talk to people, um, 
sometimes Cali gets a bad rap that it, that everybody's blind to what's going on and that everybody's automatically a dim liberal leftist marxist whatever and uh that's not the case man like some of the most hardcore conservatives some of the most ultra of the ultra maga <laughs> i've met in cali no lie like like i'm i'm very impressed with like the young people in california that um whether it's northern cali central cali southern cali everybody's like nah bro we're not going for all this you know you're not going to take our guns like we're going to stop pushing all this weird ideology uh thank you for what you're doing you know what i mean so they're up on it they're on game for sure yeah because yeah yeah cali's up does this because, because they got frisco they got pretty much that whole they got it on lock called frisco and then the majority of la those are like the two like biggest cities so that's the reason why but if you go the farther you get away from the cities like the country folks and all that there's a lot of conservatives but there's a lot all over the place but Th that's why i'm always yeah. that that's why I'm always performing in Brea, Oxnard, Irvine, Ontario. Uh, I'm even doing El Centro, California, coming up. Uh, that's down there, like more near the border in the desert. Uh, what about LA? You gonna ever come to LA? I used to. Uh, the belly of the beast. Uh, I used yeah. to do like the Hollywood Improv. It, it, I think we just need like a bigger venue and a better situation because uh, the Hollywood Improv is real small and um, okay. it, it's just it just becomes more difficult. Like once you kind of go in, now you got to deal with traffic, expensive hotels and parking. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for real. I lived in uh, East Los yeah, for six yeah. months, so I, I know all about. Oh, the, wow. Yeah, I know all about the parking for real. Is that okay? All right, that's yeah. right, Slatino Central, right there, East Los. Yeah, yeah, I was right there. Um, off like Atlantic and uh, I think I think Whittier Atlantic with the cross streets, and then and then the the first six months I was way in the boonies like by Calabasas in uh, Woodland Hills, and it was it was oh. it was very boring out there. <laughs> <laughs> For sure, but well, yeah, man, Jesse, man, good to see you. Um, you know, hopefully, uh, bump into you soon in Cali. Keep up the good fight. Yeah. Keep growing the movement um you know especially now just leading up to the road to 2024 uh latinos man like dude what you guys really really helped spark is now totally coming front and center like everything for what we've been talking about like the red tsunami the red wave and oh my god Latino myra flores she must be QAnon. she must be the brown face of white supremacy and and we got to go buy these radio stations with george soros and all this stuff so it's definitely. But I just want to give you credit too, brother, because you came out too, and that's why as soon as you came out, I was immediately down at you, is because that's a courage and all of that too, you know, what I mean? especially before too, even humility, because how you made the force. Remember, you made the song before Bash Trump mm -hmm. and all that. You used to be all anti it to come and say, you know what. You know what I mean? That that was good, bro. And, like that, I give you a lot of respect and, and a lot of credit to and, come you, out. And, yeah, man, you saw you saw me in the yard getting jumped, fool. Thas, 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 fool. Uh, uh, you're like, hey, you're just watching. Hey, this little homie throwing putazos, fool. So I had to jump in, bro. Yeah. We had to jump in. That's the homie right there. That's why I got to We got you back, whatever you need. Uh, you, know I mean? you know, Lexi was there from the beginning. I, I was, was out there. Time. Man, I was out there in general population, bro, in the yard, throwing putazos, fool, getting jumped by all the all the Marxists. Thas, puto. Thas. Yeah. I was catching all the bots, fool, all the bots. Thas, culero. Yeah, oh yeah, brother. That's why. Right. That's why they're probably all. That's why they're all over your page supporting it because that was like, ah, not chingo, not chingo for the conservative. You know, we calling out the left, but now it's like you've probably seen it, bro, over here from three years ago, bro. When I first when I was starting, it, how the pushback was a lot, bro. You know what I mean? Especially against the Latino community, all oh, Trump hates Latinos, all that, blah blah blah. Now, bro, e even if they're not ready to say that they're Republican or whatever. They're pissed off at Democrats because they're buying it. You know what I mean? So they're open to it, even if they're not ready to say they're a Republican. Latinos know what's up. That's what I'm saying. Because they see this. He's a total disaster. All this left. But even all, like you said, this Marxism, this left, this Vulcan. Like, look, we can't even watch a Disney movie without <laughs> them pushing the homosexuality and all that. You know, we're trying to push, uh, teaching our kids all that stuff in school and all that. Like, well, not, no Latinos, we don't support that. You, you talking about you talking about queer light year? <laughs> yeah, like or oh, Buzz yeah, Light Queer. Hey, let's let Jesse talk. decide. Jesse decide. What's a better title for this podcast? For what? What do you mean the podcast? Oh, for uh, for the title, just the like, title of the yeah, episode. Yeah. But, but you're not gonna name it Buzz Light Queer. I know. Light I queer. know. I'm not gonna. Why you gotta name the podcast Buzz Light Queer, Rob? <laughs> or or uh, what'd you say? No, I'll, this is the debate. 
We're trying to figure out how to rename the the uh, the toys. What is it? Yeah, Toy Story. the Buzz movie. Either either Buzz Lightyear or Queer Light. What is it? Queer Lightyear. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think the first one. Yeah, Buzz Lightyear. That was my idea. Is it? Oh yeah, yeah. But Buzz Lightyear. That's good. Bro, you can't even watch this and that, bro. We had snacks and we had to filter with our kids. We can't even watch to watch Disney, bro. To even watch Sesame Street or whatever. Can't even watch TV or commercial. Like it's like trying to rabbit. Even what you're saying about the Jew teeth, the left totally hijacked that. So me, so now, so like me, trying to put all of us. That's like BLM day. Like the leftists righteously took over and they destroy everything. Well, that now it's not going to be Russia. I mean, racial justice day, BLM, and all that's all it's going to become. And that's why we're like, you know what I mean? Like they said, well, it should be all American flags. It should be all patriotism. I mean, that's why maybe the Republicans fell asleep. They should have uh, recognized it sooner because then they would, because imagine if they, they would have came out like that and then making it all patriotic and all that, the left wouldn't want to have nothing to do with it. But since now that they did, and George Floyd, all, BLM, and all them, they took, they grabbed hold of it, and all that, and now they just took it over. Like you said, now they're even trying to change the flag on it, and just all like the left just hijacked, like they do, man. Yeah. Speaking of uh, Juneteenth and the flags, I saw somebody point out how when they're trying to associate it with the Pan African flag, the red, red, black, green, it's like they're they're associating it the Juneteenth, right, the uh, emancipation. Um, they're trying to associate it with the flag of where slavery, where the trade, like the heart of the tr of the slave trade and like where it started versus the American flag as to where it was courageously and righteously ended. Yeah. Like that's the whole point. Exactly. The whole point is emancipation. The street over here where we're by is called emancipation. Uh, the park over there is called emancipation. And Juneteenth, it, you know, it was a Texas thing for the longest. Like we grew up knowing about Juneteenth. You know, it uh, it happened in Galveston, Galveston yeah, when you which, have, when which you, is where the beach is, about forty five minutes from here. Yeah, and you have to think too that it wasn't. It couldn't have been like that. Wasn't the last because slavery had ended two or three years prior to that. It was just when uh, when Texas, you know, found out and the generals told them that hey, you know, everybody's been freed. But you have to think too there were other people. That still didn't know, you know, like they at, what, Galveston wasn't the last place, but they took that one holiday that was a Texas thing and made it a federal holiday. Yeah, and I think Trump made it a federal holiday. Yeah. So I, I don't have yeah. a problem. I don't have a problem with it being a federal holiday. My thing is basically saying like, don't wrap it up with a flag from somewhere else, which is which is where slavery started. Wrap it up with the American flag. It's an American historic day. Um, which is where slavery like officially ended, like where they found out yeah. after the fact. But they never even made you know the signing of the Emancipation Proclamation a holiday. That's not a federal holiday. That's when slavery ended. Well, talk to Trump about that. Shit, bro. you're right. Yeah, you're right. and then they said they, they don't want to talk about too. They they, they saved them actually from Democrats. <laughs> the Democrats were <really> racist. All <laughs> uh, those ones at those days, so they'll say that they saved them from Democrats. And then also there was all kinds of other countries too that had slaves. You notice that they don't care or they don't bring up. None of all these other countries that mm -hmm. used to have that they used to have slaves over there too. It's only America. I mean, you to this day, they still. only hate America. And when like you said, when we're the ones that made with the pay for them to to end that and, and all that have wars and all that. Like, yeah, yeah. So, but yet we're the ones that get the, all the bad rap from. There's all these other countries. It's just the left. It's just the, like I said. It all boils down to once again, it's the <laughs> left just using race. To manipulate minorities. That's gonna be the name of the podcast, Jesse. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use "total disaster" as the title of this podcast for sure. Yeah, I, well, hey, Jesse, yeah, yeah. Uh, we're gonna let you go. We know you got a lot of work to do. Uh, we appreciate checking in, and uh, don't be a stranger, brother. Uh, I'll be out there on the West Coast, July 6th, July 7th. And uh, hey, man, keep up the great work for sure. Thanks, sir. All right, all right. Good, good looking out, brother. Thank Much you. Take love, care, Chino. brother. See you soon.